All right, so what we got is we have the output wired up, going through these plans, going to the top of this breaker box. The output for the breaker box is a 30 amp outlet outside. Through here, this will be tied back to the wall. This is the pass through for charging batteries. And turn this switch around so that when it's on, it's straight through like this. Which, you know, shows electricity going through that way. And we're getting ready to test it. So startup sequence. Let's see, pre-charge these capacitors. Actually, let me put this on real quick. Because I don't want to tear up these wires. Put one screw in it just to hold it for now. Little itty bitty screws, that's why I don't really care too much for this. It's hard to access. Just keep that from falling. keep this from falling so you turn the batteries on they're already awake otherwise you turn the BMS on right there they're at 85% so you turn these on actually I don't want to do that I'm gonna turn this on first because you want it to pre-charge if I turn these on before this DC switch they'll pre-charge up to here and then we'll inrush so turn that on then turn these on. Turn the inverter on. says DC AC stuff in here control is it hot and we have 120 volts even 120 to ground 120 to neutral so that is active Clean all this up. We're going to plug in the pass through. Right now, it just shows output from batteries. This is turned on. Alright, I don't think our cords are kicking on yet. Input from AC is not on yet. Let me go check something. Alrighty, we are up and running. I had to redo the inline power. It was loose. And it should go to 117 volts. And batteries are showing right now the stuff's showing negative 0 0.3 amps. Negative 0 0.5. This thing should go into charge mode here in a second. This is charging. There it goes. Both batteries are at 2 amps in. 4 amps. 5.5. I got it set only for a 10 amp charge. So 5.2 amps and 4.39 amps going in. So we'll let these charge up and then we're going to 
test the system on the well with a split phase adapter transformer. It's a solar edge autoformer. And we'll see without solar, with these batteries fully charged, how long can it run the well. Alright, so this is our first test. Test a couple components. One, that, that 150 amp fuse doesn't pop. We're going to check the AC inrush out and DC inrush in. This is a single phase 6500 watt uh, EG inverter going through the solar edge. Single the two two phase 220 adapter. And going into this well, uh, the well is pushing water to a cistern, so it's going to run non-stop. And it's a 850 foot, and I believe it's a horse and a half. The pump said it's 950. Okay, I thought it was 850, and the hole was like a thousand. Either way, yeah. you had a horse and a half. No, pump. It's a two horse. Two horse. All right. So let me set the camera up. Yeah. I think you're uh, 1,275 foot hole. Try and capture anything on. Any kind of errors I might get on the inverter. So I'm going to disconnect the line in because we've been charging the batteries with the 120 volt in. Yeah. All right, let's see if it is starting as well. Pump. The battery's down pretty quick, actually. So, we don't have any solar on the trailer yet for makeup power. Let's see what batteries are doing. We're at 94% state of charge, and it says 36 amps out. Hundred and thirty six amps. Let's say max minimum. Yeah. So hundred and thirty six amps out on the DC line. Pull that off and reset it. And 72 amps constant. So we had 136 amp end rush on DC and 72 amp constant at 48 volts, so 50 volts. And over here, it looks like we're pulling uh, 62 amps. That was in rush. Let me pull that off. Sixty-two amps in rush and twenty-one amps running.
<clears throat> started the pump at 115. We started the pump at 115 and it is 117. So let's see how long. Uh, battery's at 93%, so they're doing all right. <clears throat> That's a good time to check temperature. Let's check the bus bars. 46 degrees. 47 on the positive. The DC cables are 45 degrees. Just FYI, it is 45 on the ground in the trailer. Uh, inverter. 47 degree air coming out. 48. That's where down here it's showing 65. Is the air coming out down here? I do feel warm air. I guess the air is coming out down here. Here we go out the top. From 71 degrees, air coming out. And our fuse. Best I can tell is 52 degrees. The cable is 50. And the AC wires are 52. So nothing's getting warm yet. Breaker is 60. 62 degrees on the breaker. Let's flip through our menu. So the battery is pulling 73 amps. Was just meter showing 71, so that's pretty close. Uh oh. We just turned orange and we lost power. We lost battery. I don't know what happened. Damn it. Alright, let me stop. So I don't know why, but the inverter cycled off. Got the orange light. It had a fault, but I couldn't get a, a code off of it. I didn't display a code, and I, I'm still learning on how to pull the codes up. But when I restarted it, the damn fault light went away. And I don't know, it shouldn't have tripped. So we've got 91% battery. And we're only pulling 27 amps AC. And 71 amps DC. We're at 50 volts. Output, we're at 50% capacity output, 51. 3.3 kVA. 3.1 kW. So it's only running 50% of its capacity. We shouldn't have tripped. 72 amps out of the battery. Yeah, I don't know why she tripped. One twenty two. All right, so we had a reset. I don't know why. We're only running fifty percent, the fifty three percent capacity on this. We're pulling out seventy one amps DC and 27 amps AC. Uh, I'm going to go check the solar edge uh, temperature.
in here and record in case we get a fault. There's our AC amps out. Ah, just got a yellow light. Or pink light. F13 is the fault. Let me turn this breaker off. F13, so now I need to go look that up. Alright, so I think I know what it is. F13 is your maximum discharge on DC limit. So let me... Uh, Alright, um, we get into programming. I think it's. I think it was uh, menu 41, I believe. Sixty amps. And remember, we were pulling seventy-one amps. So I'm going to enter this menu. We're going to go up to eighty amps because I only need seventy-one, but it doesn't let you pick ones. You got to go by tens. Escape. All right, let's try again. Did this thing go dead on me? AC is 27 amps, DC is, like earlier, 71 amps. Uh, we lost about five minutes. It's uh, 7.33, I'm sorry, 1.33. I'll take 10 minutes off the clock. Trying to get in case we get a fault. I was checking on everything. It's been a few minutes. What the hell is that? Still pulling 27 amps out, so we're still pumping water. 71 amps in from the battery. I had to up this to 80 amps input. It's got a setting where it will limit how much power you can suck off the battery. We're at 80% on the battery. I might have left it outside my little temperature gun so like I said we don't have any solar input if we had thousand watts of solar coming in so we're coming out to solar edge transformer 75 foot is all I had six gauge RV extension cord and it goes in that room which feeds back underground to the well right there Time to do a temperature check. So I'm gonna check AC wire 63 degrees. DC wire is 65. Air coming out of the inverter is 79. Bus bars are 55, but it is 49 degrees in here. I'm going to check the solar edge. This thing has a 5,000 watt limit, so we're not pulling that, but 58 degrees and 50 on top. 58 on top.
So the water, we don't actually have a, we have a pressure tank out of the well. What happens is the water pumps to the cistern right here. It's a 1,200 gallon cistern. And then that takes 220 volts, right? And we have a, for the solar system, we have a, right there, we have a 120 volt pump that feeds off the cistern to a regular pressure tank like you'd have at your a normal house with a well that feeds the house. So we started at 550 gallons and we are almost to 700. We would normally run a generator to do this. You know, once, twice a week, fill this up. So ambient temperature, it's getting colder outside too. 42, it was 50 earlier. All the wires are like 60 degrees. 52, 48, sorry. Nothing's heating up except for that short piece of wire right there and that switch. We got 136 just now, but you can find 145. The highest I got was even the fuse isn't that hot. 16. Look in here. 6 but up in here 105 155 so one piece of wire I don't know if I need to retighten it I'll check it this one piece right here I'll check it it's getting uh, a little warm still not hot enough to like damage or get you know, melt but still and it is now 205. Let's go check our water progress. Oh, windmill's turning. We got weather moving in. It's uh, we're starting to get snow flurries. These lights aren't pressed. Started at 550, and we are now at. Uh, there's the 900 line, the 700. I'd say 750, 775, maybe close to 800 ish. We're only getting like maybe 10 gallons a minute on this pump. It's so far down. Alrighty, uh, my phone went dead earlier, so I had to go charge it. It is now, let's see what time it is. It's now 2.40. We started at 1.14. We're down to 47% battery. Now keep in mind, this is just two trophy batteries. I'm going to have 1,200 watts of solar coming in, but they're not installed yet, so this is just all battery. Uh, let's do a final temperature check. We're at, we're at like 1,100 gallons. I just went and looked at the water. We're almost full. 58 degrees and it's 44 ambient and that's gotten up to a hunt last 105 for a second 93 the red one right here the short one this is the I gotta check this connection because 172 that shouldn't be that hot if you check right down here same wire um, 82 84 so, AC wires, 69, 65, the breaker, 78, check the air coming out, 75, let's go check everything real quick, the solar edge, like I said, this thing is a great little box, takes 120 volt, single phase, makes 220 out of it. See the snow falling. 72, 76. Check the fins. 78. Let's go see what the water level is. I just had to fire up the generator on the cabin because I was charging those trophy batteries all day. Sucked down these lead acid batteries in the cabin. And it's been overcast and it's snowing. 
in here. I think our cistern is just about full. Like I said, we started at 550 gallons. I think we're at 1100 now. We're right at, you see it's shaded right here. So we're right at, it's full line, 1100 gallons. I gotta go shut it off because it's got a weep hole that'll start leaking out. Not bad considering there's no solar on that trailer yet. It is snowing. Let's see what the outside temperature is. We got uh, 35. It was 50 earlier today, and now it's, it was 40 when we started the test. Now it's 35. So we went from 550 to 1100. And we started at 94% battery. We ended up at 45. That's not too shabby. Let's just throw this breaker. There we go, the well is off. Let those fans run. <laughs> 